In 2014, the appalling abuse of Indonesian domestic worker Erwiana shocked Hong Kong. In the back of an abuse case involving an Indonesian worker, which made the headlines around the world, Oriana has since become the face of a grassroots campaign fighting for better treatment. Behind me, activists and supporters are chanting justice for Oriana. Since then, growing evidence has exposed widespread exploitation, particularly by employment agencies. Faced with a failing system, the Hong Kong government was forced to act and in January 2017 introduced the Code of Practice for Employment Agencies. This new guide to best practice also aimed to ensure that agencies abide by existing laws. But how much impact has the code had? To find out, the Federation of Asian Domestic Workers Unions, or FADU, surveyed over 450 migrant domestic workers who had used employment agencies in Hong Kong since the code came into force. The results show that of 150 different agencies used by the workers surveyed, 96% were not fully compliant with crucial elements of the code and 74% did not comply with four or more key standards. 57% of interviewees were charged illegal fees by Hong Kong employment agencies, with 30% being illegally charged in advance of receiving their first month's salary. Fadu also conducted undercover recordings in 18 agencies across Hong Kong while inquiring about the cost of finding a new employer. In seven, agency staff stated they would charge between 3,500 to 10,000 Hong Kong dollars to find a new employer. That is eight to 24 times above the legal limit. In addition, six agencies illegally asked for a deposit. I have to find an employer, but you need to go to Macau, wait for the visa. You need to pay 6,500. 6,500? 3,000. 3,500. So it's for the agency fee or for the... 10,000 is including the... The survey also found that 24% of the workers had their personal documents, passports or contracts taken from them. In 72% of the cases, this was by their employment agency. The research clearly shows that the majority of employment agencies in Hong Kong are failing to implement important parts of the code. Given these findings, FADU has several recommendations for the Hong Kong government. First ensure the effective investigation and punishment of employment agencies that violate the code. Provide adequate support to all migrant domestic workers pursuing compensation for abuse until the case is finished. Allow overcharging by employment agencies to be heard at the Labour Tribunal so that third parties can take a complaint on behalf of a migrant domestic worker. Fadu believes that if the Hong Kong government enact these recommendations and ensures that agencies implement the code in full, migrant domestic workers will be better protected and employers will receive a better service.